It's almost a Qasem Soleimani moment in Iran. Another of its top military officers has been killed, this time not by the United States, but by Israel. An Israeli airstrike has killed Saeed Reza Mozavi. He was a senior commander in Iran's Revolutionary Guards Corps. He was outside the Syrian capital Damascus on Monday when he was killed in an Israeli airstrike. Now, what was Mosavi doing in Syria? Reportedly overseeing Iranian military operations. Iran's ambassador in Damascus, Hussein Akbari, has said that Mosavi was posted at the embassy as a diplomat and he was killed after returning home from work. On Monday, Israel struck the Saida Zenab neighborhood. Reports say Mosavi was targeted after he entered a farm in the area and it was reportedly one of the officers of the Hezbollah. There was a blast, Mosavi was killed and no other casualties were reported. The Syrian Observatory for Human Rights claims that the strike targeted two sites, both of which are linked to the Hezbollah. What do we know about Saeed Reza Mosavi? He was a senior commander in the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, or IRGC. He was a close friend of Soleimani, who was the former head of the Quds Force. The Iranian commander was killed by a US drone strike in Baghdad in 2020, remember. Now, Israeli media claims Mosavi's is the highest profile targeted killing since Qasem Soleimani. The news of his death spread like wildfire. Protesters gathered outside the Iranian president's office in Tehran on Monday, calling for vengeance. The response has been strongly worded. The president of Iran, Ibrahim Raisi, has said, and I'm quoting, undoubtedly, the usurper and savage Zionist regime will pay for this crime. This action is another sign of frustration, helplessness, and inability of the occupying Zionist regime. The Iranian foreign ministry, meanwhile, said that Tehran, quote-unquote, reserves the right to respond at the appropriate time and place to the assassination. Now, this is not the first targeted airstrike that Israel has carried out in Syria, of course. Just earlier this month, Iran accused Israel of killing two Revolutionary Guards members in Syria. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.